Today is the day where uh, the GBWC in Malaysia uh, commence, I guess. Uh, not really commence, but it's a submission date of your kit uh, for GBWC, right? So this year's uh, GBWC will be held in uh, IPC Mall, uh, which is, stands for Ikano Power Center, uh, also known as uh, IKEA in uh, Damansara, okay? So um, as for me, I didn't really put much effort to my kit that much because I thought I didn't get uh, into the competition uh, because I submitted my entry uh, via, uh, via email this, this time round alright and then I was expecting an SMS but so far a lot of my friends they receive SMS but uh, for myself I didn't receive anything so I thought that maybe mine got rejected or maybe they didn't see it so I just sit on it and then I was uh, working on my this Shenlong kit right so and then all of a sudden, this Friday, suddenly there is an uh, SMS to me, uh, which is said that okay, uh, dear GPW's contestants, blah blah blah, uh, bring your kid over to IPC shopping mall at this date, this time, and like that. So I took an off day today and get packing my kids. Right, so uh, this GBWC, of course, I don't expect to win. Uh, but GBWC uh, winning is just a part of it, but. Um, you, I mean, why actually I joined GBWC is mainly just to participate, just to show people what, what, I, what I can do. Uh, they might like it or hate it, it's up to them. Um, but the most important thing is about community, it's about support. All right? So um, joining it is just for the fun of it. All right? Just have fun together. You don't really need to like, I'm better than you, you are better than me. If you think someone else is better than you, then you may ask them uh, how to improve from your kid or so on and so forth all right so winning is not really in my mind actually i just uh, do it for for the fun of it so as you can see from my gampa model all right um the custom part that i didn't really put in the video is basically the decals and the weathering um but then that is actually what i did earlier on all right but i actually just rushed my base. I just painted and decal my base yesterday, right? So it's actually a very very rush, uh, rush thing. Okay, so yeah, just see see how it goes. All right, so uh, I'm gonna start packing now. Uh, okay, guys. So currently I'm gonna start packing. So what I actually used is actually a uh, overflight box, right? Um, you can use any box, uh, but I just prefer to just use any um, box that I already have, right? Um, also, sorry for the flicker in the video, it's because that my fan on top is uh, winding down and then the light says, uh, yeah, basically it's just the shadow of the fan, alright? So, what I actually do is that actually I get um, uh, some paper, right? Um, and then remove the, uh, what's this called, the staplers. Alright, so that it doesn't scratch the kit. Um, but as for my kit, it's actually weathered, so not really a big deal. Okay, so um, what I actually do currently is just uh, remove the kit from the base. Okay, and then straighten out the legs. Okay, and then the fragile part, you can actually remove it. So example for me is the wings. Just remove the wings. Arms, I guess. Um, yeah. So for the shield, I do not want to remove the shield, so I just remove the whole entire um, arm, right? So just put it aside. The weapons, the same. Um, I think I remove this wing first. Uh, yeah, these wings are actually the heaviest part of the kit, so I just remove them first, and then. Um, So you can see the kit is actually quite strong. I'm holding just one arm and the whole kit just floating. Right? So the next part that I could remove is um, I think nothing much. Okay, just straighten the head. 
okay make sure everything's okay and maybe the back skirt because the back skirt is actually quite fragile because I already cut it off and I modified the pack so just try to just remove it slowly out okay so basically everything is done put it down here okay um, you can open the legs or close the legs up to you I just put it here and then two pieces of paper Okay, the sides. Yeah, this is basically uh, not really a best way, I would say, but it's good enough, right? Right, this is too small. Actually, just to cushion the side movements, all right. Okay, then the rest basically you can do is um, I think the gun is fine and okay, because it's very, very hard to um, damage. Okay, and then the, the uh, what is this called? The flyer uh, shield thingy, put it here, and then. What I can do for me is basically like this. I'm going to jump it up a little bit. Put it at the top. Okay. And just put it aside. Then just put in this wings here. Right off. Of course, the wings fold it up because if it is uh, open up, it's actually easier to break. So just fold it up and try to fit it in properly with this part on top. Okay, and then once it's done, just close it. Um, okay, one more tip is that if the gunpla is standing this way, try to get the gravity down this way. All right, so. Just cover it up, follow the orientation, and then stand it up. Okay, so that's about it. So just be very slow, and just leave it this way first, and then put it in the bag. Make sure you stand it up. Okay, so done. It is back. Um, next problem is the stand. I can't really find a place to put it, so I guess I'll just. Uh, here okay so um all right so the next tip what you should actually do oh, okay guys so if you guys ever entered gbwc before or uh this is your first time or you plan to attend in the future always remember there is two most important things you should bring all right so uh, one of them is a super glue or whatever glue that you're using always remember to bring it because uh, Parts tend to break or you know shit might happen. So always remember to bring a, a super glue and some sticky tag. Alright, so this is actually very important. So in case for example if some part of your stand or some diorama broke off, you can actually just glue it back. Right? Because sometimes it might get damaged while transporting it. So yeah, and because you know the way I pack my kit is actually very very simple. Um, so it might get damaged easily, right? So this is not really the best way, but this is my way, right? Um, previously, I uh, packed a what is it called? A 160 scale Axia for GPWC. I actually um, separated it into two boxes, right? So I bring two boxes over to the competition, and there is a big base, right? So for this time, I just try to go simple and light. Um, just for the sake of destroying it, alright? Okay, so let's go get going. Yeah.